Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here this morning. Can everybody hear me okay? All right, good. Well, most importantly, there's coffee and tea in the back, so please fuel up as much as you need. If you're like me, you may need a lot of coffee in the morning. Well, thank you so much. Um, search engine optimization, SEO, is my passion. We have a very good feel and stronghold of what things will be like in the next year or two, and even five years ahead. Uh, we, we see, we're seeing the, uh, the end picture there. So let's get started. Remember why you started using Google? Relevancy? Yeah? The, well, I, I love this question because a lot of us often may not remember why we really started using Google. So it's quality. Quality, quality, quality. It wasn't that long ago, but remember when you used Yahoo, you always had to go to the second and third page? And the reason for that is because Yahoo's algorithm wasn't anywhere near comparable that Google's was. Even at the time when Google came out in its infancy, its algorithm was so much better at ranking for relevancy and quality. And so if you remember, when we used Yahoo, we always used to go to the second and third page. We were just used to it. Now on Google, if you're not on the first page, it's shown statistically, looking at a heat map, that pretty much greater than 90% of everybody searching on Google is not going to go past the first five results on the first page. And so what was fundamentally different? And how did Google come out and go, oh man, we're gonna be so much better? Well, Yahoo wasn't very sophisticated. It actually would reward for gimmicks and gimmickry and you know, trickery and, and these, these little tricks. Developers caught on to this and they figured out that if I can spam my website with keywords, I'm actually gonna get rewarded for it. So then the results actually start getting a little worse because Yahoo would, re would reward for repeat and certain, so, you know, certain keywords so many times. So fundamentally when Google came along, Google's ranking system is different in that it ranks you for backlinks and I'll talk a little bit about that. In addition to that, we love Google because it actually penalizes for any gimmicks or any trickery, also called black hat tactics. That's repeating some things too many times, trying to trick the search engine uh, with link juice, and so forth. So show of hands, how many are you, of you have, are familiar with backlinks? Some of you are, oh, actually quite a few. So, that is still primarily the way Google determines what your popularity is and how well you're going to do. But there's a lot of misconceptions about how backlinks help you. And so the main responsibility of an SEO company and what we do is to accumulate and collect more quality backlinks. And a backlink is a link from another website that points to yours. It's not quite that simple though. It has to be associated to a keyword called an anchor tag. And that is primarily what we do for development. We manually place links out there on other websites that are anchor tagged with a specific keyword back to your site. So you can't beat the mechanics of Google. On average, Google visits every website in the world out there about once a month, staggering. In the course of that time, it leaves your website, circumnavigates the whole globe, looks at all the other websites out there, and cumulatively, it adds up all the other links that link back to you. And that's your sort of your popularity. And it grades all of those links to your website for quality. So it's a cumulative effect. The more you have, the better. So it's not only quantity, it's quantity as well. So now all of us have keywords on our website. Done. Everyone's done it. You know, your competitors, everyone has keywords. Everyone may have good content optimization on their site as well. But what makes them stand apart? Well, then comes the back end back-end development, and that's where the SEO company comes in to spend all those man hours for link development. 